Rising from the square of the revolution, the 1763 monument stands as an ode to defiance. Unveiled in the capital city of Georgetown, Guyana, in 1976, the monument celebrates the Burby Slave Rebellion of 1763. The 1763 rebellion was a massive uprising of enslaved peoples in the Dutch colony of Paris. It is considered one of the greatest rebellions in the entire history of slavery in the Americas, involving roughly 3,000 rebels. Apart from the 1791 rebellion, which established the independent state of Haiti, the 1763 Burbies uprising came nearer to overthrowing white European rule in this hemisphere than any other slave rebellion. Dutch plantation attorneys were notorious for their excessive cruelty throughout the Caribbean. This was true of plantations in Burbies, with Governor Wilfred van Hugenheim recording in his journal one week after the rebellion. The two leaders of the rebels, Coffee and Akara, had ordered Ramring, a clergyman, to bring me a message in which they informed me of the cause of the revolt, namely, the cruel mistreatment of slaves by a party of inhabitants whose full names were given. The rebellion was spurred on by the fundamental desire for freedom, planter cruelty, and reduced rations. On February 23rd, the rebellion broke out on Magdalenenburg, a plantation on the upper Kanji River. Coffey, the principal leader, was not involved, and on February 27th, he, Akara, and other leaders staged a massive slave revolt initially on the Burbies River. The rebellion spread and plantations fell like dominoes. Coffey declared himself governor of Burbies, selecting Akara as his deputy. He set up his administration at Hollandia and Zealandia. Eventually, the revolt was suppressed after the colony was held by the rebels for over 10 months. The 1763 monument was designed by Guyanese artist Philip Moore. The towering 15 feet statue weighs two and a half tons, is cast in bronze and is rich in symbolism. The pouting mouth on the figure signifies defiance and resistance. The face on the chest symbolizes the shield used as a breastplate and is meant as protection in battle. The pig in one hand with a fish-like tail represents ignorance. The dog in the other hand lust and greed. The faces on the thighs with horns represent Guyanese revolutionaries like Kwamina and Akara. The base of the statue was designed by Albert Rodriguez. The faces at the back of the head and body represent present-day leaders, and the map of Guyana represents unity among all. The monument also has five plaques around its base. Seeking inspiration. The first plaque shows Coffee and his friends communing with the spirits of their forefathers in the dead of the night to see how best they could overthrow their enemies. Uniting people. Six hearts with the symbol of the clenched fist on each are shown on the second plaque. It shows how the slaves lived, highlighting the differences in the living quarters of house and field slaves, although the differences do not mean division, since the slaves are united spiritually. Destroying the enemies. The third plaque carries two clenched fists, with two long nails protruding from each and going into two large disfigured hearts which represent the greed and avarice of the sugar plantation owners. Control The fort shows two figures holding onto a wheel made to look like the joints of a cane, with a central hub representing coffee, which means that he took control. Praise and Thanksgiving 
The fifth and final plaque carries four figures dancing and giving thanks to God for their deliverance. Next time you visit the 1763 monument, remember to look for all the symbols and reflect on our history.